The Super Machine dashboard is where you will end up after you have logged in. At the top of this page, you will see all of the different models that are available within Super Machine. You can categorize these by the filters by simply clicking at the top. So if I want to see all of the best anime models, then I can do so. I can also click the view all models button to see all of the models that are available within Super Machine. If I want to then change the model that is active, all I need to do is click on one of these. And when I do that, you'll see that the outline changes. I can click and I can drag across all of the models here if I want to search between them like this also. This is also a great way to do it on mobile. Below the models, there is the prompt input box. This is where you will put the input of the AI image that you want to create. So for example, I could put cat sat on a mat here. I could put, you know, Japanese 30 year old male and it would give me a output of that image. So this is the simplest and quickest way to create an image with Super Machine. On the right side, we have the different settings. So if I need assistance with creating my prompt, I can do so by hitting these buttons here. So when I do this, I'll be able to see different styles that I can add to my prompt. So if I wanted to add a specific emotion, I can come in, I can click on whatever I want, and it's going to add that directly to the prompt. So using the style assistance is a great way to get even more details into your prompt. We then also have a prompt book which will show different images that have been created and it will add all of these settings to the prompt when you do so. So for example, if I click on this delicious burger image, it's going to add this to the prompt and then I would be able to simply hit generate and it's going to create this image for me down below. The next thing that we have is we have the LoRa settings which will change how an image looks so on the laura settings we have different things such as a weight slider a happy slider angry slider curly hair slider etc we'll go over how to use laura's directly in super machine in a little bit later we also have the consistent characters so consistent characters are characters that we have trained ourselves and are available for use within Super Machine. Again, we'll go over that in a little bit of time. The final thing that we have within this prompt console is the prompt assistance. So if I want to improve a prompt, so if I say cat sat on a mat, and I want to change this, I can do so with the help of artificial intelligence. So I can say, okay, I want it to have the beautiful lighting and I want to enhance that prompt and it's going to give me a better version of a cat set on a mat. It's just going to give me a ton more details to work with. So this is really cool and it's going to give me a better output. So again, I can hit generate just to see what that is going to look like. You'll see that the burger image from earlier generated and that looks like a delicious burger if I say so myself. So this is the standard output that you're getting from Super Machine using these settings at the top here. We then have the advanced settings, which let you go into more detail. So we have negative prompt, we have seed number, guidance, steps, image, ratio, size, and much more. We'll go into these in a little bit more detail in a little while. But below this, we have our outputs. And the outputs here are from the last couple of generation batches that you have used. So you'll see that we have this cat on the mat, which looks beautiful. And by clicking on this image, you can see the prompt. You can see the negative prompt. You can see the model that was used. You can see the image ratio. You can see the seed, the sampler, the guidance, etc. And below this, you'll see the different 
batches that we have. So this is really excellent for seeing your latest creations. But if we want to see all of our images, we can do so by going back to the top and hitting the albums button. So the albums button will show you all of your albums at the top here and you'll see that I have different albums for different models that we were creating. And you'll also see that we have home and anything that is not categorized in an album is in the home here. And if I want to move any of these images to an album, I can simply drag it and put it in an album like this, or I can click the button to add image to album and choose the album that I want to add it to. So we make this very simple from the album setting at the top to be able to choose the different places that you want the images to appear. The canvas setting allows you to either draw on a canvas or allows you to take an image and add it directly to the canvas by clicking the canvas button. And from here, I could then change the ears, I could change the tail and so on to use this as part of our generation method. We then have the tool setting, which is where you can find some interesting tools that can be used for your AI image generation needs. We have a remove background, we have a face swap tool, we have an image to prompt tool, and we have an upscale tool. We'll go over these in a little while in more detail again. We then have a search function. So if you want to search for images to then find out a prompt that was used for specific images, then you can do this within the search functionality. And then again, we have the update toggle where you can see all of the latest updates that have been created within Supermachine. And then we have our profile where we can see certain things like our credits, we can see our subscription, we can go and see consistent characters in more detail, learn about the Chrome extension, about the API, etc., etc. So that is a brief overview of the Super Machine dashboard. Now let's get into generating images and see how we can do that by using basic settings and more advanced settings.